Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this fun candy twist ornament. This is so simple and it looks like a little taffy candy to adorn your Christmas tree with. I will get into the supplies we'll need and then we'll get into making this extremely simple project. This is so cute. So big thank you to Yarnspirations and Red Heart Yarns for providing the yarn today. We are using Red Heart Super Saver in this petal pink and then Red Heart with Love in this eggshell and winter green colors. So you can use any colors you want. I suggest three different colors for this project and uh, we're just doing five rows of single crochets. It's so simple. This thread I'm using is from um, Etsy. You can find the link in the description of this video for this metallic thread. This is super festive and I just really like metallic anything. <laughs> so metallic thread here. Or you can use any thread really that you like. And then a yarn needle and a sewing needle um, to, um, you know, uh, put in your ends, hide your ends, and sew on this um, thread here. And then also a scissors to cut all of that, and a crochet hook size F, which is 3.75 millimeters. So we're using a smaller size hook to make the stitches really nice and tight and small. So that is uh, all the supplies we're going to need today. A um, big thank you to Red Heart Yarns and Yarn Inspirations. My dad's behind me filming this whole tutorial for all of us and uploading it to YouTube for everybody, so make sure you say a thank you to him. I'm thanking him. And a big thank you to you for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Check out all the links in the description of this video as well. It has a link to the free crochet pattern for this taffy candy ornament on yarnutopia.com and all the supplies you'll need for this project. Ooh, and uh, that's everything. So let's get started and make this cute little ornament. All right, we're going to start off with the pink color here. So I'm going to make a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down and then pull your long end through and pull tight. Insert your hook and we can begin. So we are going to start out by chaining 45. Five, uh, sorry, 46. <laughs> I'm going to chain 46. So yarn over, pull through. One, yarn over, pull through. Two, this is going to be really tight since we are using a smaller crochet hook. So I'm going to chain my 46. And once I have that done, we'll go on to row one together. All right, once you have your chain of 46, we can go on to row one. We are going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and each chain across. So the loop on the hook doesn't count as anything, so count one and two. And what I like to do personally is just turn the chain towards me like this, and I like to work in those back ridges of the chain. Um, I've learned this long time ago, but I just like the technique and it has a clean edge. So I'm going to count one, and two, this chain right here, I'm going to go into the back ridge. You can go into any loop of the of the chain and it is kind of difficult for the first row. And since we're using a smaller hook, these are smaller stitches. So we're going to single crochet. So yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay. And we're just single crocheting across. So go into the next chain, then yarn over, pull through and yarn over and pull through two. Okay. Again, next chain. Just go into the chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So I'll do that all the way across. And once we finish row one, we will be changing colors next. All right, just finished row one here. So I just single crocheted across and this is what it should look like. So now I'm going to change color. So I'm going to chain one here with this pink and cut this yarn and pull it through that chain one and pull tight. And then we're going to turn the work around like this and insert our hook into the very first stitch right here. Okay. And I'm going to use this um, eggshell off white color and we're going to hook that on and pull it through. Okay. So I didn't tie off or anything. I just pulled a strand through and then I'm going to chain one and we're going to single crochet in this same stitch that we just attached to and in each um, stitch across. I am going to try to work over the top of this strand here to hide it underneath my work. 
Um, but if you can't do that, you can always sew in your end later. But again, just single crochet into each stitch. So go into the stitch, work over the top of the strand, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, into the next stitch. Okay, working over the strand, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and we're just single crocheting across. It's very simple. So once I'm finished with this row, I am going to fasten off exactly how I just showed you how I fastened off the pink. And we're going to change color to the winter green, um, egg bluish color, I guess. And once we're gonna change, we're gonna change color just like how I showed you with the off white color here that I'm working on row two now. And we're just gonna single crochet across. Just attach your yarn in the first stitch, just like how I attached this here, and just single crochet across. Make sure to turn your work every row, um, but this next, this row is gonna be this egg shell white color. Then the next uh, row is gonna be the winter green. Then um, um, row four is going to be the eggshell white color again. And then row five is going to be pink. So I'm going to do that until I finish row five. Once I'm finished with row five, we'll be able to fasten off. We're just single crocheting across. It's super, such a super simple project here. And uh, once I finish row five, I'll come back on screen and I'll show you um, how to make it look like the candy and ornament style and everything. We'll attach the thread and have make it an, into an ornament and uh, we'll be able to put it on the tree. Alright, just finishing row two here. I did want to show you how I was going to uh, finish row two and go on to row three. So like I did from the previous row, we're just going to chain one and cut this yarn and pull it through and pull tight. We're going to turn our work, like I said, and just go into the very first stitch right here. If you can see this stitch right here. And we're going to grab this winter green color and hook that on and pull it through and just exactly how we did the previous row. Just chain one and single crochet in the same stitch as that first stitch there. Okay, and single crochet across. Now I'll sew in all of my ends off camera. I'll show you how to sew in your ends though. Um, but we're just single crocheting across and then we're just gonna end exactly the same way on this row. Turn our work and work the next row, row four, is gonna be this um, same color as row two. And then our last row, row five, is going to be the same color as row one. Okay, so I'm going to do that until I finish row five. And like I said, then I'll be able to show you how to turn this into an ornament. All right, when you finish row five, we are going to fasten off. So I just chained one and cut this, pull it through and pull tight. Okay, I'm going to grab my yarn needle right here and I'm going to sew in this end and I sewed in some of my ends already off camera there but um, all I do is just yarn my needle, go underneath these stitches and just hide the ends just like that. Okay, and pull it, stretch it out and there's another one here and you can just um, sew in your ends as you go so it's easier at the end then you just have just one or two left to sew in perfect cut your yarn with extra little ends there all right so now we have a long strip okay so this side that you see less blue is going to be the outside this side that you see more blue or green, I guess, winter green. <laughs> I said blue, I don't know why. That's gonna be the inside, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna lay this down like this, okay? We want to grab our thread. Now this metallic thread you can get on Etsy. I have a link in the description of this video where you could get thread like this, or you can find any type of thread that you'd like. And a sewing needle. I'm just going to use a regular sewing needle, okay? And I've, um, attach the thread to the needle. And what we're going to do now is kind of fold this in a certain way to make it like a taffy. Okay, so we're just kind of zigzagging just like this. OK, 
Okay. Now you want to make sure it's even, so there's a lot of um, kind of figuring out to do. And you also want the end to be opposite the, op the other end. Okay, so I have this end ending on this side and this end ending on this side. Okay, so we're just going to zigzag it, fold it up, and then we are going to attach our piece. Now I'm going to fold it tight, but it will um, stretch out later. So I'll show you. I'm just going to line this up so it's straight. Okay, looks good. And you can take your time with this. I'm obviously going a little faster for the camera. Looks good. So we're going to take our uh, our threaded needle and we're going to go from the top in straight through to the bottom of our piece. Okay. Then we're going to go back through to the top, whoops, straight through. Make sure you're watching what you're doing here. I have to watch what I'm doing here. <laughs> okay, just like that. And then we're gonna take those two strands, I'm gonna cut this from the, uh, the spool here. And we're gonna take these two strands and we are going to tie them in a knot. Okay, a really tight knot. You want to make sure that your strands are long still because we still need to make this into an ornament. So I'm going to pull this tight down the center, just like that, and tie it in a knot. Okay. Now what we want to do, you can um, see how long you want your ornament to be. I would say about four fingers worth, Okay, like this, and then a little extra to make the knot. So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to wrap this around kind of like how we do a slip knot and then I'm going to bring these strands through all the way then pull tight okay and that is where we make the ornament then you can cut this short right above the knot and that is becoming the ornament so there it is Okay, then to make this fabulous, you can use your crochet hook or a pen or something or your pinky and just kind of stretch out this, these loops and make it more like candy style. Okay, just like that and like that. And there you have a cute little taffy. Oh my goodness, how cute is this? You can make this all different colors too, and you can have a tree full of taffy. This is such a fun project, and it was super fast. You could top a gift with this. I mean, you can make it super fabulous, however you want it to be. So just make it look good. And there you have it. Our little taffy ornament is finished. That was easy. Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this super colorful project. I really enjoyed this project with you. Big thank you to Yarnspirations and Red Heart Yarns for providing this yarn today. Check out the Etsy shop for this um, uh, thread and this crochet hook. And all the supplies are all linked in the description of this video. And I'm going to go put this right on my tree. Until the next video, happy hooking!